This video is brought to you by manscaped.com. Right here, we got the shampoo plus conditioner, the deodorant, the hydrating body spray, the body wash, and the lip balm. The new Manscaped shower products will help you elevate your shower game. Your hair and your body will hit a new PR and freshness. Taking care of yourself after the gym all starts with hair care. I like to start off with the Manscaped 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. It smells really good as well. Ooh, it's fresh. And once your hair is done, it's rinsed, it's washed, now it's time to make your way down to the body. This is when you need the Manscaped body wash. This also smells incredible i'm telling you this body wash is great once you're out of the shower it's important to moisturize your skin luckily manscaped has you covered with the all new hydrating body spray very very clutch manscaped's new ultra premium deodorant is aluminum free stain free and dries clear it also smells amazing last but not least is the manscaped lip balm it's infused with ingredients such as vitamin e peppermint and eucalyptus oil also it comes with three so you're good to go i always lose my uh lip balm so it's clutch that they send you three in a pack go to manscaped.com and use promo code attach for a 20 percent discount off your order plus free international shipping what is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video today i'll be showing you guys the best settings to use for ranked play in call of duty vanguard and i want all you to comment your current rank down below right now i am challenger 1 3401 sr and let's get right into it so let's start the controller section uh this goes for anyone that's on xbox anyone's on ps5 pc uh if you use a controller uh, so I play on 661 ADS, tactical flip. So I that means I shoot with my bumpers, and, uh, throw tacticals with my triggers. I'm gonna keep going down here. Dynamic uh, aim response curve type. Dynamic is definitely the best one. I highly recommend you using it. I've made many videos talking about it, but pretty much it just gives you uh, really good aim assist when you get close to aiming at the person and you're also able to snap to different people uh, easier. So once you get one kill, you're able to move over and still be accurate but get the other kill on the second person move again to the third person to get the kills so it's definitely more advanced but i would i would say it's the best one if you can learn to control it uh control vibration is off uh the always put the left trigger and the right trigger min input dead zone to zero because that's like uh you're gonna have to pull your trigger down further for it to shoot your gun so always put that on zero the higher you have it the longer it's going to take for you that to like apply from your controller into the game so Put it on zero. My left stick, I have it on zero for the strafe. My right is on five. Uh, and then 90-90 for the left stick max. But I think you can also put this to 100. I thought I put it to like the max. Because this one is fine to just have at 100 or the highest. Target aim assist is on. There is a couple different ones for target aim assist mode. A lot of people do use black ops. I tried it. Um, I personally just like the default. I've been using the default since the beginning and it feels really good. I used Black Ops for like a day or two. It felt okay. I couldn't really tell the difference that much. So I just went back to default. Blind fire off. Automatic airborne mantle partial. Then for ground mantle on. Automatic ground mantle off. Scrolling down here. So you guys can see someone just joined my game. Hopefully I don't get hit offline. Slide behavior is tap to slide. I'm going side behavior is hold. Steady aim behavior, tap to reload. And uh, toggle for scoreboard behavior. So you can see if you're frying on the scoreboard. And now on to the fun stuff for all the PC graphics. And we have a lot to go through. So full screen, auto 1920 by 1080. You don't want to be on anything less for your display resolution. Uh, I always find it funny how the refresh rate is auto 239.760. Instead of 240, there really isn't a difference, but it just makes me uneasy when it doesn't say 240. Um, and then frame limit custom, these numbers go all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna want to turn on demand texture streaming off. Uh, you really don't need it. It just takes away from the performance of your PC. Quality, uh, render resolution 100. Nearby level of detail, low. Distant level of detail, low. Short, low, local shadows only, low, high, off, on for the shadows. So you can see some shadows around the map. Depth of field is off because when you zoom in, it will get blurry around you. So make sure you turn depth, depth of field off and then VRAM use to you've ever set. And this is a very important one right here. Field of view, I keep on 100 affected, least 50. Make sure you turn world motion blur and weapon motion blur off and on plus blues boost for NVIDIA reflex of latency. Another very important setting. Where is it? Where is it? Crosshair bobbing. I know you're hiding somewhere. I'm sniffing you out right here. Crosshair bobbing. Go into interface. Go down to the bottom under HUD elements. Crosshair bobbing off because you, you're 
gun and your character will be moving it will be like bouncing up and down and you're moving randomly which will definitely hurt your shot if you have it on still so you turn that off make sure the minimap shape is square because the square minimap is bigger than the circle minimap and the minimap rotation on so when you're turning around the map the map is turning with you it's easier to see the angles around you and all that stuff um and then you can turn all this stuff on if you would like to see like fov any of that uh, i usually just keep on my fps and my latency so i know like the ping uh i'm on and um that's pretty much it for the interface my audio it's all different uh, i have it on 30 because i use a go xlr for my setup for my gameplay and to talk and it's very very loud so 30 has like a blasting in the ears for me make sure you have your audio mix to headphones i was playing on home theater for a little bit but you definitely want it on headphones uh, and then of course you could change the hit marker sound effects to classic or you can just keep it on vanguard i'm just keeping it on vanguard because i actually kind of like the sounds that i hear on vanguard um so yeah that's going to do it for the graphics audio and interface settings i'll see you on p5 Dad, 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 dad. Back I I Oh, he was, I was so hurt, man. Nah. One's already back here, though, I think. Wait, really? I don't know why I spawned on fire. I spawned field, and I don't see anything here. Oh, they can sneak through left. There's definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he actually hit fire to come old? No way, brother. That's crazy. Ow. Where are we spawning? One more side door. Going back door, back door, back door. Nice. Spawning field, spawning field. Spawn field. field. That was just insane. Yeah, they're spawning P3. They spawn P3. They spawn P3. They hit their sad out. Didn't stun anyone. He's close on you. Close on you. Present. Yeah. Yeah. I need one there's that close. I know they might start flipping now. Uh, might start flipping. Maybe. Yeah, yeah we flipped, we flipped, we flipped. Oh, I didn't think he could see me there. Oh, that timing so bad. Do I have an aim for you? I have an aim for you? I'm getting there in three. Dead. Oh, top fire, top fire. Oh, close or side. Hurry, mid you. Nice. Easy, two E. I think he's up. Nice. Nice. Front door, 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 front What the hell is going on? Day on time we win. Velo season. Why would I ask him that? That would make him lose full right now. How do you feel to lose back to back champs finals? They're going crazy right now. They're all going crazy. We 100 point clothes, I'm just for you guys.